This word gets thrown around way too often. What exactly does it mean to have an optimal workout? Does it mean getting jacked beyond belief? Or maybe it means becoming as strong as a tank. Or quite possibly, it might just mean acquiring a physique that belongs in an anime fan fiction. Wrong, wrong, and wrong. An optimal workout is one that bulletproofs your joints to be able to survive car accidents. Better yet, be indestructible. One of my favorite exercises to achieve this is the deadlift. But no, not just any regular deadlift. Something a little more optimal. For example, a reverse deadlift. Now this exercise is obviously not for beginners, but for optimal overlords such as this man who goes by the name of Captain Legs. Now Mr. Legs has two goals in life, beating Arthur Saxon's 386 pound bent press world record and beating Eugene Sandoz's 280 pound Turkish get up world record. And I'm going to talk about these exercises in a second, but to meet these tall orders, he has to train his body in a way that no other man could imagine. For example, the reverse deadlift, which according to Captain Legs, strengthens your reverse chest, also known as the back, proving that you should never skip spine day. And the next videos we're going to look at by the captain are the ones documenting his progress on achieving these world records. 150 pound left arm, kneeling bent press. As you can see, he's still got some work to do if he wants to shatter these goals, but a 145 pound one arm press is no joke. All thanks to his optimal training, and luckily for us, we get to witness his optimality before our very eyes. This functional exercise is almost as functional as the impressive use of parts being used as equipment, all the way down to the postal service bin as a weighted helmet. Building this setup had to be a workout alone. This blockhead deadlift requires tons of core strength and spine strength, but most importantly, this is the best compound movement to functionally strengthen the muscles in your neck. Heavy reverse press. Bro's going to have a crazy Dorito shape reverse chest pretty soon. The only way this exercise could become more optimal if he was doing it while standing. But I understand he was eliminating leg drive, so I think Nick Smith would approve. But nonetheless, I guarantee you can't name a single other exercise that targets the triceps, rear delts, and rotator the cuffs all at the same time. 325 pound close stance, sawhorse zerker deadlift. Bro, look at the eccentric control on this exercise. This guy's three-play close stance zerker deadlift is cleaner than most people's three-play sumo deadlift. And of course, he has some of those glass back haters in the comments who just don't know an optimal lifter when they see one. But I suggest that you check him out and tag along for his journey. And don't forget to watch this video on the cringiest fitness influencer ever. 